What's going on? What's going on, you amazing viewers? My name is Air of Gotham, and today I got a special treat for you. I'm rocking that sexy dark matter camo on the KN57, and guess what? In my opinion, this is the best AR in the game. So if you haven't tried it out yet, go jump onto your creator class, go make a class with this bad boy, and try it out. Now here's the thing. The class that I'm running right now, the part of the reason why the gun is so sexy is the fact that I'm running it with rapid fire, suppressor, gotta have that suppressor, man. In a, in, in a game where so many people are running loud guns, you know, there's less suppressors available now, having that suppressor is a huge advantage. So rock the suppressor. Then I'm also rocking a uh, hybrid mag and stock on the gun as well. So in my perk setup, I got engineer on and I have on dead silence. Those two perks pretty much go on every one of my classes. Uh, with this game, Engineer helps you out when it comes to all the crap you gotta avoid. <laughs> and, and Dead Silence is, is clutch for uh, helping you with acoustic sensor runners. And also so I don't gotta hear my own footsteps. Um, now in the gear slot, I do have acoustic sensor, I just mentioned. And that's it, that's the class, guys. Oh, one other thing, what I love about Dead Silence. The footsteps are so loud in this game that you really don't even need to use headsets anymore. Like, I don't know why, but they went away from requiring you to use headsets. And and so whenever I want to just chill and play the game, I play it with, you know, my, my regular TV speakers. And, and that's it. And I still do really well in the game. So it's a little bit more casual, even though the game is really sweaty. <laughs> Go figure. All right. So with that said, the five most annoying things in Black Ops 4. Man. Now before I get into my top 5, let me tell you that I am still having fun with this game. I'll say it again, I'm having fun with the game. Now, when I was grinding it out for Dark Matter, I was a little frustrated. Doing snipers and shotguns and pistols did drive me up the wall here and there and made me want to <laughs> break my game even though I have the digital copy. <laughs> but, whatever. I got over it, got through it, and I'm back to having fun with the game again. Jump on for like an hour or two, play with some of my boys from Thunderstruck Gaming, and uh, and just go from there. So even though I'm having fun, there are still five things that are really annoying with the game that I wish that they would figure out a way to, to you know, compromise or make them a little bit less annoying. So number five is, I guess I'm going to call it teammate griefing. It's pretty much the fact that whenever I'm near one of my teammates, my character lags up. It feels like I'm running through quicksand or that my character is like 800 pounds and I can't get through a skinny hallway. Like my guy moves so slow. And I, I specifically remember that in Black Ops 2, it was the same problem. Like you'll be around one of your teammates and you would lag. Um, and it would always be something that you know I complained about. So I don't know what, is, what it is with Treyarch, but they need to figure out how to avoid that. Because in Infinite Warfare, that wasn't a problem. Matter of fact, I specifically remember Prestigious Key making a video where he spoke about things that IW got right, and that was actually one of the things that he mentioned. So the fact that we're two years later and you know Treyarch still hasn't figured it out means that it's probably built into their core engine, and it's something that needs to get fixed. Um, so that's number five. So number four, when this game launched, number four probably would have been the nine bang, but they did a couple of nerves. And it's not as annoying as, as it was in the past. You don't see as many Ajaxes around, so I don't really put it on the list anymore. Uh, so now it's the shock drone. The secret drone, shock drone, whatever you want to call it. That contraption is so annoying. And you want to double that with terrible teammates. Because you can always tell, you can always spot a noob on your team by somebody that runs right past the secret drone. You see that bad boy, you should shoot it, whether it caught somebody or not. And the funny thing is that if it didn't catch you, it's going to catch you. <laughs> Even if you have cold-blooded one, it's going to catch you eventually. And when I see it, I get those points, I destroy it. But your teammates, I don't know why, they always let you get caught up in it and then they just keep running. You know, use me as bait. By all means, use me as bait. Kill the enemy that's running behind it. Because you, you know, whenever you see one of those things on your team, you're going to follow it around because you know it's an easy kill. So on the other side, why not just destroy the thing or cover your teammate and make sure you get that easy kill, right? They won't be expecting you. Okay, so that's number four, the shot drone. Number three. So number three is actually the the spawns. Oh my god, why are we still talking about the spawns, man? It's January. This, this game came in October, man. 
we're still dealing with the spawns. Now, I, I specifically posted a video on Thunderstruck Gaming a while back complaining about the spawns and complaining about the fact that the tactical insert is actually making the broken spawns even more broken. And here we are, still broken spawns. Now, don't get me wrong. The tag insert isn't used as much as it used to be. Like, I don't know what happened over the last month or two, but people that were running Seraph decided to, uh, I guess, get rid of the tag insert, and instead they've been opting to use special equipment instead. So I've been seeing a lot more frags and combat axes, and I've seen a lot of concussions. I don't know why, I've seen a lot of concussion grenades. So, you know what? Rock your Annihilator pistol, go for it. Get rid of that stupid tag insert, it's, it's breaking the spawns. <laughs> I have no problem with that. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section if you guys agree with the list so far especially you know <laughs> the spawns all right and for whatever reason man especially on these small maps like you saw firing range and summit these smaller older maps that aren't really made for this unlimited sprint they seem to suffer the most when it comes to some of the spawns so they got to figure it out man they, they really got to figure it out all right so that's number three by the way this gameplay that you're watching now uh the first gameplay was 27 and oh oh look at that kill how did i get him <laughs> but uh, the second gameplay, I go 28 and 1. And my only death came because I uh, put too much faith in my drone squad. <laughs> um, so, anyway, all right, so that's number three. Number two, the second most annoying thing in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is the time to kill. Now, the time to kill is so annoying. And don't get me wrong, I get it. They want you to play with your team. They want you to team fire, which explains why, you know, you're always running up against a group of, of three, four enemies at once. And I get it, okay? Assist count is kill now. So, you know, if I, if I shoot him a couple times and I duck away, get behind cover, you know, I still get credit for the kill. But it's such a terrible way to play. And it's actually caused me to become more of a camper. Like, you see in this gameplay right here, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I've been patrolling the area, like... Uh, I think Thunder a long time ago called it uh, tactical immobilization. <laughs> I'm pretty much sticking in one area, and, and that's about it. And there's my death. <laughs> oh, damn, drone squad. But yeah, so like I'm pretty much sticking in one area because I know that I'm, I'm able to react faster than the enemy will because I understand what's going on. So, whatever. But the time to kill needs to get fixed, and the fact that when you add in the, that a lot of people are running armor, and then people are also running the 200 HP because of crash, Time to kill is so slow, man. They need to they need to fix it, and it's annoying. I hope they do, but I get the feeling that we're stuck with it and they're not gonna change anything. All right. Uh, so guys, at this point, I want you to think about it. What would you say is the most annoying thing in uh, Black Ops 4? Drop it in the comment section. Let me know what you guys actually think is more annoying than anything I've listed, uh, and 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 tell me how you feel about this game. <laughs> I'll give you a second. All right, so the number one most annoying thing in Black Ops 4 is skill-based matchmaking. Oh man, and not just skill-based matchmaking. I'm gonna double up on number one. We're gonna actually go with the fact that they lied to us when they said that Ping is king. Ping is not king. King is not even in the courtyard, man. I don't know what to tell you, but I have a I have the router from Netgear that allows you to get a geo filter, and it allows me to see the connection of people that are you know like partied up with me or that are in my lobby. Not anything you know private. It just gives me an idea of where they are in the world, and I can't tell you how many times when I look at my geo filter, the game is trying to put me on a server in the UK or in Asia or in Australia. My dude, I play in the northeast side of America. I'm, I'm from New York. <laughs> Why am I getting partied up with people that live on the other side of the world? It makes no sense. And the geo filter fights it, man. It tries to get me in a lobby <laughs> that is actually right for my area. But imagine if I didn't have that. And all you folks that haven't gone out there and used Thunder's code for the Net Duma. <laughs> And you guys are stuck with a regular router, man. You don't realize what you're dealing with. You don't realize that the skill-based matchmaking is supreme in this game. And you're actually getting screwed over. You're getting stuck in lobbies because of your uh, score per minute or because you're KD, whatever. So, you know, that's that's the most annoying thing in my opinion is that to this day we're still dealing with skill-based matchmaking as the priority over connection. And the fact that the game is constantly trying to put me on a server in the UK or a server in uh, in like Australia or Asia or something, it makes no sense. You know, at the very least, keep me on the East Coast or something. 
Alright, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Air of Gotham, signing off.